Manny Pacquiao tends to surprise his fans with his performances, and has done so recently with his choice of boxing opponents too. Fighting Adrian Broner and Keith Thurman while he's past the age of 40 is one of the greatest achievements ever by a boxer past his prime. But now he's gone and done it again. Manny Pacquiao will face Errol Spence in a mega fight on August 21st on Fox Pay-Per-View. I'm sure you were as shocked as I was when I saw this announcement. At 42 years old, the timeless legend will face a young Errol Spence who reigns in his prime. If Manny Pacquiao were to beat Errol Spence, there is no question we must put him up there with the likes of Muhammad Ali and Sugar Ray Robinson when we're talking about the greatest legendary fighters of all time. If Pacquiao beats Spence, he's one of the greatest ever. He just has to be. Actually, he's already on that list. He's already top 10, with or without fighting Spence. Ever since Pacquiao beat Thurman to become the oldest welterweight champion in history, he solidified his standing as an all-time great. Take a look at Pacquiao's boxing record. His boxing career can be broken up into decades, with each year telling its own story. Each year a new brand of opposition, a new challenge, a new step on the path toward greatness. From his beginning days in the Philippines to taking over the states with the dismantling of Lelo Laduaba to his epic rivalries with Eric Morales and Juan Manuel Marquez to his crushing victories over Oscar de la Hoya and Ricky Hatton to the conquering of a giant with Antonio Margarito to the blitzing victory over Miguel Cotto, the man has seen it all. A fight the world desperately wanted to see was Keith Thurman versus Errol Spence. Unfortunately, it never happened. Pacquiao's last two fights will now be against those two fighters. Manny Pacquiao will carry on the age-old tradition of fighting anyone, anywhere, anytime. Errol Spence is undefeated, and so was Thurman. These two consecutive fights are really telling of Pacquiao's willingness to take on not only the best of his generation, but the generations that come after him. Errol Spence will be a very tough fight for the Pac-Man. Spence is an excellent fighter with high physical strength. It's no surprise that Errol Spence is the favorite to win this fight. But Thurman was the favorite too, and we all know how that went. Spence is one of two boxers highly regarded as the absolute best in the welterweight division. Of course, the other fighter being Terence Crawford. Spence may not hit as hard as Thurman, but when it comes to endurance and ring presence, Spence is definitely stronger. He's not a small welterweight, whereas Pacquiao isn't even a welterweight at all. Spence is an excellent inside fighter. He's able to remain calm under fire, and he packs one hell of a punch. But stylistically, Pacquiao may have what it takes to beat such a style. If Pacquiao can show the speed he had in the Thurman fight, in this fight, he may be able to pot shot Spence with his in and out footwork, speed, and unorthodox angles. But make no mistake in thinking that Spence can't box. Spence showed some great boxing skills against Mikey Garcia. An excellent jab kept Garcia at range all night, unable to find his footing for combinations. If Spence decides to box, Pacquiao will have a task in getting inside the range of that jab. Another interesting thing about this fight is that Spence will be the first southpaw Pacquiao has faced since David Diaz. Pacquiao dismantled Diaz in that fight, but Pacquiao is not the same man now, and Spence is better than David Diaz. Pacquiao has faced many men who are like Errol Spence, but Errol Spence has never fought anyone like Manny Pacquiao. The element of familiarity may work in Pacquiao's favor, as he relies more on experience as opposed to speed and power at this stage of his career. Spence is undefeated, and his recent victories came against Sean Porter and Danny Garcia. He has a great ability to stand his ground and roll with the punches. Pacquiao will not be able to push Spence back. His best bet will be to circle and choose his attacks carefully, getting in, landing, then getting out of danger, like he did in the Margarito fight. 
If Spence wants to slow Pacquiao's movement, he will need to cut the ring off effectively, because leaving Pacquiao an exit out to the side will allow Pacquiao to set up new attacks, which is what he's renowned for. Luckily for Spence, he's a great body puncher. Body punches, when implemented the correct way, can severely slow a fighter's movement. However, Spence rarely attacks the body first. He goes to the head, typically with a jab, then carries his attacks downstairs. Where he's someone like Canelo will go for the body first, or sometimes independently. Pacquiao, with his fast footwork, may be able to get out of danger before Spence makes his way downstairs. Spence, for the most part, is a flat-footed boxer. However, it's a common misconception to say that flat-footed boxers can't create positions like boxers that fight on their toes. Flat-footed boxers are almost always in a position to attack, and they are less obvious in their decisions to manipulate positions. A quick ability to catch Pacquiao coming in will work in Spence's favor, as he stands his ground with flat feet. This truly is such a crazy fight. You have Spence, who's looking to create a legacy of his own, with hopes to keep that undefeated record intact. He's looking to take the torch off Pacquiao and continue to create his own story with a spectacular victory. And then you have Pacquiao, who's already a living legend with the neck to defy the clock. You've got the power of Spence, but you've also got the speed of Pacquiao. You've got the youth of Spence, but you've also got the experience of Pacquiao. I think most people will agree that the best outcome for this fight will be a closely contested decision. Pacquiao is the underdog. He's fighting a very dangerous man in Errol Spence. No one wants to see Pacquiao go out in a bad way. I hope it's a good fight. May the best man win. Who do you guys think will win? Let us know in the comments section below.